Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to modify the behavior of a sort. So right now we have this list of strings and you can see there's a bunch of different variations on capitalization. And when we sort this by saying strings.sort and then we'll just print it afterwards, you can see that the capital letters always come first. So A is top priority here, that's first, and then it just keeps going until the first character is lowercase. And in the situation where we have a match, such as ABC, but the casing of C is different, the capital comes first. And then lastly, we have the all lowercase. If I wanted to ignore capitalization and basically consider A uppercase to be the same thing as A lowercase, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. And to do this, we can pass in a special thing in here called a key, which is basically what function to invoke on this data. So we say key equals and then str for string dot lower. And running this now, the output's a little bit different. You can see here, both of the A's are up front, whereas before, A was after all the uppercase characters. Those come first because it's a single character and A is the first character in this list. So they're gonna go up front and to the left. So they're gonna be considered to come first. Next up, we have a bunch of variations of ABC, and it doesn't really matter what order they're in because they're all considered ABC. By default, it's just gonna keep the order from this list. You can see the lowercase one came first, then the uppercase, then the one with the capital B, and then the BC, and then the A. So that's exactly the same pattern we have here. So that is how you sort by using lowercase. You could also do upper if you prefer, but it doesn't really matter which one you do because the actual data itself stays the same. It's just talking about how we're going to compare the data. So we're not actually lowercasing all of the data. You can see the casing stays the same as the original, but the order when sorted is different. And that's a very important thing to understand. Also notice that we're not invoking the function here. We're not going in here and putting parentheses like so. There's no parentheses, we just put the function name. The only parentheses is the closing for the sort. So just put the function name after the equal sign. Next up, I'm gonna be teaching you another variation to sort by string length. Be sure to subscribe.